When it comes to manner of articulation, we have six different ways in which our breath is produced in order to make our sounds. We have our plosives, our affricates, fricatives, the nasal sounds, our lateral sound, and the approximants. Let's take a look at each individually and see how they differ from one another. First we have our plosive sounds. As the word might indicate, we have basically a little explosion of sound with our breath. The plosive sounds are made through a three-step process. First, there's a closure somewhere in the vocal tract. Second, there's a buildup of air. And finally, there's a sudden release of that air, like a little explosion. If we look at some of the sounds that are made this way, we might better understand why they are called plosives. Examples are the p, t, k, and g sounds. Again, we have a closure in the vocal tract, a buildup of air, and a sudden release. P, b, k, and g. Next we have our affricates. This manner of articulation is very, very close to the plosives. However, there's one very important difference and that's in the last step. Again with the affricates, we have a closure somewhere in the vocal tract. We have a buildup of air. However, with this manner of articulation, we have a gradual release of air rather than the sudden release of air with the plosives. There are two examples of these sounds and they are ch and j. Again, there's a closure a buildup of air, but yet this time it's a sudden release. Let's take a look at that one more time. We have ch and j.